All right, Damien Seabrook. Here it is. That's the name that I'm kind of familiar about. Sad to believe it has been a little over three years since Damien's tragic passing. The Damien Seabrook Memorial Fund is supporting the following organizations. Greenhouse, Tech Workers Together, the Humanitarian Software Foundation. Uh, crunch time. Overwork and burnout. Supposed to develop free open sof source software for therapeutic or curative purposes. And none of them mentioned Skanda. Interestingly. And who's KNG? KNG, they're none of them resonates uh, folks like Nora or Soren. Wonder who they are. Uh, actually, it could be just his parents, uh, actually. They may stop to change the world the better and we are worse off without you. The gulf you leave behind is still immeasurable. It is said that time heals all wounds, but there is no way to express how much we miss him still. Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who have been watching my videos, welcome back to the playthrough of Eliza. Uh, last episode, it has been revealed that Evelyn was one of the old teams that developed Eliza. Uh, well, which the name actually got decided by the company, aka Skanda, that eventually got developed into one of the most popular psychology related uh, uh, counseling AI ever been used in this uh, darn city or something. And um, apparently, Nora, Soren, they were part of the old team along with Damien Seabrook. So that's the reason why I kind of included him, him in the beginning of this episode because I did promise that I would include him in the previous episode, but I didn't. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why. Also, I probably kind of made a mistake on making both appointments between uh, Nora and Ray to meet up later tonight. Wait, what the? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't here in the chat, but... Uh, because uh, Ray and I were the ones uh, that actually talk from the history. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Not that one, of course. Oh, this is from chapter one all the way. Really interesting. Wow. I wouldn't know, actually. Where is the part that mentions Cookie again? Yeah, here's the one. Tonight. <laughs> uh, I mentioned about that, and then I also mentioned about going tonight. Come over soon, but she mentioned soon and not tonight, so I don't know, man. Also, apparently the chief engineer has been changed three times now, which Erlen was the third person in charge of it uh, after Evelyn the listener they have their own names too before uh, before the company decides to give it Eliza it'll never stop being weird to me how our little idea grew and grew and, and turned into this didn't even take that long Ray must work extra hard to make sure these plants stay healthy. She really likes to go the extra mile on things. She really does, and I'd, I'm not blaming him for her for it. On some level, I also knew the therapy sessions went to a big server room somewhere, but it was something else to see it in person. It reminded me how easy it is to forgive what's going on behind the scenes when we interact with technology. It's true. It's true.
like the server side, something like that. Yeah, I think that's something that developers can relate, which unfortunately I'm still trying to grasp about it, but I respect, but I respect them big time. I respect people in general. Well, <laughs> maybe depends on what type of people, of course. Uh, that's right. I guess it's our time to continue the session and uh, move on with things. We were just had before. Ten three three. Mark Forrest. Big dude. Uh, no judgment, just sorry about the uh, what I have in mind as a personal deeper feeling of mind. <laughs> you talk about justice. Hello, Mark. Yeah, hello. Doesn't to be impressed and all that stuff. How are you today? Let, let's just get this over with. <laughs> right to the point. Discovery. Okay. What brings you here today? Human resources. Hmm? The HR department brings me here today. Ah. Oh. Ah, so under someone's order, and uh, maybe he's not too, not too, God, I tend to struggle with words sometimes, not too keen with the session that he's going to have into his face just now. Mm, maybe not a good question, I don't know. Why do you say the HR department brings you here today? Maybe he will explain it, hopefully. Because they're making me do this. <laughs> yeah, so so forced. Because apparently I have anger management issues. I sense that you're upset about this. Please tell me more. Well, I'll tell you more. This is ridiculous. I was here before any of them. I was here since the beginning, okay? Hmm? At Skanda? Or Eliza? Oh, I mean, or the Queen in office. I mean, look at my badge. Skanda employee number 617. That's a three-digit number. I've been here for more than 25 years. Oh, dear. An oldie. Yeah, that was back when what you communicated was more important than your specific communication style. That's back when what you communicated was more important. Oh dear. Before hurting a kid's feelings became a bigger no-no than running a viable business. Oh dear. Back then we had a single office building. Just one. Resentment towards the current organization? At that size, you fail a product launch, there's no more company. We all had to put in 150, 200, 300 percent to keep our shit together. Overproductivity, burnout, something that Evelyn relates here. We were in the trenches, man. Bullets whizzing by overhead, artillery exploding everywhere, no fucking air support. Did it suck? Yeah. Yeah, it did. But you know what? We shipped some great fucking products. Oh my god, this dude went very hostile with his uh, language of choice. We built this company into what it is today. An invented technology the whole world uses now. Governments, multinationals, everyone. I have a feeling this is gonna be someone that Evelyn can relate to if she were to be this person. <laughs> kind of feel so. I don't know. We will see about that. I'm just speculating at this rate. But now, now we're big and slow, complacent, resting on our laurels while our competitors run circles around us. If our new hires don't understand the urgency of that, I need to make them understand, okay? Okay. We're history unless we get that drive back. Love the tone. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm still not full with this question. Why do you need to make them understand? That tone is okay though for Evelyn. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but young people are really pissy and entitled these days. <laughs> Increase agitation. We recruit from top 20 computer science programs. These kids have been wined and dined all through their higher education. This looks very, very dangerous. That's not good. Every one of our competitors wants to hire them, so they get used to that. Now they all want to know what Skanda can do for them, not the other way around. Hmm. Why would we want these conceited, over-celebrated whelps on our team? I'll never understand the logic there. I think he's not gonna like Erland type of person. Now, now, Mark, you have to be nice to the new hire so they won't like it here. Okay, so what, I'm just supposed to pretend everyone's work is great, even if it's a pile of stinking garbage? Ooh, that's high heart rate. I'm kind of concerned about you, good sir. I'm sorry, but if I see shit, I'm gonna say that is shit. Tiptoeing around everyone's feelings all the time. That's how you end up with shitty products. That's how this company winds up dead, okay? We're fighting for our lives every day here. We can't take anything for granted. Someone needs to tell them that this isn't summer camp. This isn't fucking Coachella. <laughs> Either you do the work and provide something of value to this company, or you get the hell out of here. Those are my rules. Are the executive of this company though? <laughs> um, uh, he may be. I really don't know about their uh, backgrounds and such, so I really can't tell aside of that. Challenge face. Here's a question, Mark. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. LB's kind of right. The listener, the listener only listens, but not acknowledging the problem behind it. So like, it's not really gone like way too deep into the core of the problem. And um, this kind of thing is not gonna get solved under just one time of a session. <sighs> the lack of allies, and it's still version ten three three, like the first one that we. Uh, had with our first client too. Man, they're gonna need some improvements for sure. If you were able to have something you wanted right now, what would you choose? I would choose to not waste my time here and get back to work. <laughs> oh, God. Believe it or not, I have important things to do. You know, things that dramatically affect this company's bottom line. Instead, I'm stuck here talking to this dipshit chatbot. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why this division exists. I mean, what's the end game here? You have no idea, my good sir. This company has lost its mind, you know that? We used to be unstoppable, man. We used to, we used to build real software. Iron-clad software. Swift mail. All your corporate communications, put it all in there. It's fast, it's robust, it works. Boom. Info Vault. Index and search all your records. Any information you want. Easy. Done. But this, this, what? The, this, this fucking psychotherapy app thing. What's the fucking point? What does it actually do for anybody? <laughs> Oh, so cynical. I've heard through the grapevine that uh, results are inconclusive so far. This is gonna confuse the algorithm, and I can already tell. You know what they call a remedy that uh, maybe doesn't work? Snake oil. Snake oil. Believe me, if I was the group program manager here, I would have killed it years ago. Kind of a red flag for Evelyn there. Pointless. I mean, I have no fucking idea why it survived. Well, 
Um, yeah, maybe I do. I heard a rumor that Rainer liked this chick on the team. Oh God, I'm breathing here. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the level of decision making we've sunk to here. Is he talking about Rainer and Evelyn here, or is it Nora? I uh oh. <laughs> But Mark, we're so successful, we dominate the market. Yeah, we do. And that's exactly why we should be worried. Just when you think you've won, and you start to relax, that's when the wolves come and tear you limb from limb. You can make me take these fucking anger management classes, but that's not gonna save this company. Costs are up, revenue is flat. Our cloud business is losing competitiveness. We're being outwitted, outplayed, on every level, man. And we're just, we're just letting them do it to us. We're too busy wasting time on shit like how I wasn't nice enough to the new hires. I guess there are levels on welcoming them. Like... Uh, I wish you could acknowledge that it takes process for them to like acknowledging the place, adapting to it, something like that. You know the drill. I mean, hell, it took me some time to actually being uh being able to adapt with my workplace, and then I will still have to make adjustment on some small changes. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I guess I'm one of you. I'm I'm one of your young people. That I guess. What do you think the new Harris felt this way about you? I don't think he's not gonna care! Why do you think the new hires felt this way about you? What? Why do they feel that way? <laughs> Look, things, they get heated. That's the way it is. Yeah, he's not gonna care, man. You think the Allies had time to make sure every soldier's feelings weren't hurt before they stormed the beaches at Normandy? And shit, don't tell me that this is not a war, because that's exactly what this is. <laughs> My responsibility is to make sure we get great products out the door, on spec, on time. And I happen to be very good at that. But if you want to start interfering with my ability to do my job, then we're going to have a problem, okay? Oh boy. I really have a feeling that Mark's really gonna punch me in the face <laughs> as soon as this intervention ends. Oh man, not with this helpful, not too helpful questions to do. I can kind of imagine. What do you think would make things better for you? I mean, you know, you know what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm probably gonna hang it up pretty soon anyway. Go ahead, record that with all your cameras and shit. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I figure. Wouldn't be surprised if Rainer's watching me right now. I'm looking forward for him in the news, actually. Rainer, you son of a bitch. You owe me a lot. Me, guys like me, we built this company while you sat up there in your star chamber, drinking tea and lording it over us. Now oh, someone is. Under the skin with Rainer here. Yeah, I don't think I don't remember that blank look you gave me at the holiday party. Like, who is this guy? Does he even matter? What does he do? Not taking it as like as Ray Pukari world. Too busy appreciating ancient pottery to remember one of your oldest and most loyal battalion commanders. One of the humble everyday guys who made you a fucking billionaire. His heart laid a little bit lower, at least. What a waste Soda. of time. So, are we gonna wrap this up? Yeah, interpression phase, let's go. Yes! <laughs> oh, jeez. He doesn't care, man. Mark, I'm going to suggest you try a program called Lakeside Fishing. It may help you take your mind off things. What are you kidding? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not gonna do that. I gotta get back to work. I figure. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. 
Someone around here at some point needs to do some fucking work. <laughs> Try it for about 15 minutes each day, in the morning or evening. Evelyn is really under danger here. I, I just feel it. We hope to see you back soon, Mark. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say he's going to react. Ah, no, fuck you. Screw you, kind of thing. You really think this piece of shit's gonna be the next big thing, huh? Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh man, give me a second. I'm still really blown away how Emily managed that line. <laughs> She's also not looking forward to be with this person again. I can't tell it that way. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay. Goodbye. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Actual tear jerker. That part of the line. Oh god. I'm sorry. I think I blew my mic there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. I kind of needed that. I guess he really didn't punch me in the face though, at least. Christ. That was gold. It's kinda old guard. Attitudes might be changing now, but the history is there. Sometimes the past is hard to escape. <laughs> She's gonna comment on the likes now. Kind of figure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I'm I'm still kinda overwhelmed by that line Evelyn delivered there. I just <laughs> that one particular goodbye but Whoever decorated this room must have picked a soft flag with the idea it would help clients feel calm. I'm not sure it's working. Depending on the person I guess. I didn't recognize his face or name though. He must be part of a different division than the one I was in. Glad I never had to work with him. Very good saying, Evelyn. Turning 40. Imagine playing solitaire in the middle of your work. Uh, I will do that. I will do that. I don't think I'm gonna play that again. Expert pies are already like way too hard for me. Maybe in one of the story modes. We will. We'll see. What the hell? Next client. Time for my next client already. <laughs> Hariman Gunawan? That sounds like an Indonesian name actually. Huh. I'm actually interested that they actually put some sort of like Asian name on this in here too. I mean like, uh, I, I, I might have spoke too late there. They already included like Ishino Aubrey, that kind of thing. But a full Southeast Asian name, Hariman Gunawan, that's interesting. It is a AR headset bootloader. Room, stuff like that. Begin session, introduction. Hello, Harman. Harman. You found the place okay? He looks rich, though. Personal judgment, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, no trouble at all. Oh no, that sounds like someone I would know. <laughs> it's been nice since the fog cleared this morning, hasn't it? But I think what I can take a plus from Eliza system is that they acknowledge uh, on whether that one's relaxed or just in hurry like that Mark person did. Would sure we we can dispense with the chit chat. I'm I'm ready to begin. Okay, or maybe like this dude. Okay. 
What brings you here today? At first, let me note that I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington. Now this is some background that I do need to know. Thank you, thank you. Graduate student, University of Washington. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate in literature, uh, English literature. English literature, PhD, okay. The crux of the matter I've come here to discuss is that I've been having something of a difficult time with one of the other students currently in the program. Before I get to the specifics, let me just first establish something that might be relevant. His accent is something though, holy hell. One thing I know about myself is that I've always had a certain fear of uh, being left out. It, it's a very general feeling and one that's difficult to ascribe to any specific cause in my childhood or my parents, etc. Okay. I, I do understand that. Whatever the case, it might be beneficial to the remedial process to figure out where this feeling originated from. I'm really hoping Eliza can discover that, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Perhaps you might uh, explore that in this or, or a future counseling session. And he fully acknowledges on what to expect in this session or the next session. Which I believe he's gonna come back to uh, Eliza soon enough. Sure, I'm prepared to listen to any topic you'd like to discuss. Awesome. Sure, I'm prepared to listen to any topic you'd like to discuss. It's not even that I've been left out, exactly. If I try to think back in my life, I know that I've been afforded a certain share of privilege. But I'm still afflicted with this bothersome notion that I've missed out on friendships, relationships, other opportunities. This, this is all just a bit of a background to help you understand my current situation with regard to another student in my program. Yeah, it's like, actually really helpful, I believe. And I kind of am curious how Eliza will handle this one. I hope you're following all this. I, I realize now I have no idea how much intelligence you actually possess as a computerized system. <laughs> you have the right to adopt this. Oh, cool. I'm following you. Please continue. Perfect. So, her name is Sylvia. Oh, wow. And her writing is incredible. Everything she writes, it's brilliant. She's perceptive, insightful, mordantly funny. J just some of the best writing I've read from anyone, anyone at all. And she's a grad student, like me, in the same program. Oh, okay. Though we have different advisors, so it's not so simple to find the pretext to start a casual conversation. Yeah, it is definitely an Asian accent, actually. A little bit of Asian and the English a bit. She's also quite attractive on a physical level, so mm, that adds another dimension of complexity to the proceedings. Okay, he's, a, he's interested to deck with her, okay. Then there's her friend group, which is ugh, very well established. She's with him every day, smiling, laughing... She's really obsessed with him, I believe. Wait, no, he's actually, I think, pretty obsessed with her, I believe. So that further complicates things, since I'm not sure how to approach the group and steer things so that I can engage in a direct conversation with her. A question I have in mind, though. Does this person actually acknowledge that this dude actually kind of into her friendship group unless she's the one that talks about all this stuff to Harriman. Uh, probably. I wish I had the bullheaded confidence it would take to simply approach her, but you see, I don't. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's leading towards the uh, stocky part there. I don't know. Just a assumption. <laughs> Listen to me talk. I feel like a schoolboy with my heart to flutter. You really do. I didn't think this kind of thing lasted into one's adulthood, but. I suppose I know now that it does. Some adulthood, yes. Some others doesn't. Next. It sounds like you might be anxious about this. <laughs> it sounds like you might be anxious about this. Is it a matter of anxiety? I, I don't know what I can do, other than muster up the courage somehow. <laughs> I just need to tell her very simply that I admire her. Freaking tell her! Like... Okay, wait. Um. Oh. Oh. 
Speaking of someone that hasn't dated before to do certain things, maybe it's not that easy. You're kind of girly at the face, I think. Hmm. She's such a good writer. Well, I don't expect you to understand it, of course, but well, she is. She, she really is. Challenge face. Okay, Harman. I want you to imagine things going well. What does that look like? Hmm. Ideally, we start talking, have a wonderful conversation, spend more and more time together, support each other's work, fall in love, have a lot of sex, spend the rest of our lives in the warmth of each other's genius. <laughs> this game. I have to learn about have a lot of sex, but that's gold. Have a lot of sex. That kind of uh, semi whispering to casual conversation kind of thing, if you catch my drift. I realize that may be something of a fanciful notion at this stage. <laughs> really, the most I can hope for is to be able to meet her in an open social setting, a party or something. You'll likely ask me why I simply couldn't create such a situation, contrive one. But uh, that seems a little too aggressive for me, and also, uh, I'm also concerned about what you might think of me as a person. That's normal. It's okay. She might immediately categorize me as a friend, and while I'm sufficiently with the times to know I would have to accept that, I can't say that I wouldn't be disappointed with such an outcome. Mm. Is the risk of rejection enough to stop me from giving it a try? Well, this is what confounds me at the present time. I really like his acting. This is top notch, probably one of the best pro uh, clients I've ever uh, talked to. Why do you believe you are worried about being categorized as a friend? Because uh, you know, friends on that kind of thing do exist, and it could lead to some complex follow up after that. Well, because. This is not what I want. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Because it feeds into this image I have of myself as something of an undesirable fellow. I've always been a bit of a, you know, a bit of a non-entity as far as sexual magnetism goes. You look something though. Honestly, it's a compliment. I I don't know the what I'm looking for, but. You're less than a monster. Uh, is that a compliment? I'm not saying I deserve or even want to be some kind of Casanova, but... Casanova. Most people would like to feel at least somewhat attractive, right? That they can be desired, that, that they're worth desiring. Well, I, I very much doubt you would take any of this to heart. You are a computer program after all. <laughs> There's no way your makers would allow you to come to that kind of knowledge, would they? <laughs> Do they have special script for this? Kinda knitting it at this rate, I think. If they did, society might be threatened. Uh, you could also be right, actually. LED intervention base. That's fast. Okay, Harriman, I have some recommendations for you. How did Evelyn spell Harriman again? Harriman. Hairman, not hairman, of course. That would be silly. Hardyman. That's more or less like it uh, for Western standard. Relaxation and centering exercise. Yeah, this is. Oh, God. Yep. First, I'm going to suggest a set of relaxation and centering exercises for you to do. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. This sucks, man. I really wish the intervention really got gone better. I've said this multiple times, I acknowledge it, but there has to be some doings from this raid. I swear. They may be able to help with your nervousness. Already a little to recommendation too, Jesus Christ. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Lytosinol 2. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I believe I've heard of that. A beta blocker, is it not? Yeah. Beta blocker? Huh. It's a new turn. Well, maybe, maybe I could take a couple before I try approaching Sylvia. <laughs> you will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks. Sure, sure. Uh, I have to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, bye. That's goodbye. Fast. <laughs> To start, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe he expects like, yeah, of course, of course they have like certain level of expectation with Eliza thing. They just really wind up way too sudden of a farewell. I wasn't sure of the exact reason, but I decided to accept Ray's invitation to help bake cookies. She gave me directions to her house in Wallingford. At first, I was astonished by its size. Then I remembered her saying something about living communally with several roommates. Oh god. Must be hella crowded, isn't it? That sounds like it could be nice, assuming everyone got along okay. As I entered the house, I can hear Ray speaking with someone. No, I don't have them. Yes, I'm sure. Hmm? No, when you moved out, you took all those with you. I haven't seen them here. Oh, so what is this? Renaissance stuff. And probably some posters from certain movie. And this is this seems like an Indian figure. Um I would say Wayang or some sort of like a doll. Uh oh god. I don't know how to explain it, but it's made from um Animal skin? Yeah? I think that's that. Oh god. Oh god, I don't know how to explain it. It's uh, something that Asian stuff, 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 stuff like that. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna look right now. I have a guest. Who is she talking to? No, it's a friend from work. Why do you care about that? I can't have a friend from work over. <laughs> Give me a break. Her BF? I just told you I don't have any of that stuff anymore. No, no, you must have. You must have lost it on your own. Stop it. Stop that. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Bye. Evelyn, sorry about that. It's okay. Who was that, if I can ask? Oh, just my brother. Ah, brother. Okay. That clears a lot of the concepts in that I have on top of my head. No, BF. BR. Bro. He used to live here, but he was causing a lot of problems, coming home really late and making noise, not doing his share of the chores, and so on. We voted him out last month, even me. Even though six months ago, I was begging everyone to let him stay here, promising he'd be good. Oh, the criminal stuff. So I think she lives with her other families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty common in, uh, around India cultures, if I recall correctly. I can't really say much more than that, but, uh, oh dear. Probably one of those cases. Oh well. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just disappointed with him. Again. <laughs> I really thought this last time that he'd actually pulled his act together, but he didn't. She's really opened up, though. I feel really bad for her. She's trustworthy from that uh, act alone. I wish I could do more for him. Hmm. I know the feeling. I just, I feel bad about it. Some of what he's dealing with is his own fault, sure, but not all of it. He's just not built in a way that's suited for this world. Hmm. Already having some questions in my head about his background. I wish there were better ways we could care for people like him. 
Instead, he just gets thrown out of every place he lives. His relationship with our parents is really bad, too. Hmm. They aren't willing to try to understand him, so it all ends up going through me. That must be difficult. She's right. It's all right, really. I handle it like anyone else. We all have our own problems. True, true. Anyway, we don't have to talk about my brother. Uh, thank you so much for coming over. I wanted to say it's been really nice working with you. Oh. It's been? Did something happen? It's been. Well, no, but you aren't going to be a proxy forever, are you? I guess I assumed you'd be going back to your job at headquarters at some point. Oh, but damn me. I doubt I will, actually. <laughs> I doubt I will, actually. Oh? So you're going to stay a proxy? For the time being, at least. For the time being, at least. That's cool, but why? I'm curious. I mean, if a high-level job at headquarters was a possibility for me, I'd do whatever it took to get it. At this rate, I'm choosing the answers that uh, ties to, to me the most. Like, I just got this particular job for almost two years now, but once they, like, immediately assign me for much higher position I tell be I'll decide to declare it first until probably the next year so unless it's the executive decision kind of feel like there's nothing I can do to that unless I have a certain other options no matter what that job was it couldn't be more stressful than running three counseling centers at the same time oh yeah that's also yikes Oh, f I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think something about it is good for me right now. That's a really good follow-up, Evelyn. As a proxy, I just sit and listen to someone, and I don't have to say anything back. Yes, yes, I love I love this follow-up answer more than the first choice that I had there. I just witness someone's sadness or fear or anger or anything. And I can feel how they feel, sympathize with it. It's a calm feeling, even when the client is worked up. True, true, true. It's, I don't know, maybe it gives me perspective. I'm starting to wonder if I ever really spoke with anyone before, like anyone at all in my life. Also unexpectedly, Evelyn starts to open up too with Ray Bukhari. Holy hell. Were we all just talking past each other? Sorry, this is making no sense. No, I get that. But you could also help even more people by working on Eliza itself, right? Not to mention make way more money. Okay, so this is a complicated feeling that I have. I have to imagine myself used to work at the core program at the headquarters and I decided to bail for three years because the environment I think just doesn't suit me or something. And then I decided to come back immediately, eventually to try to find something that I have to do eventually and then to recognize the flaw of that system, though. And then there's Soren. Hmm. Anyone can be a proxy, but you're important. And kind of maybe like a genius. This is true. From Evelyn's perspective, that is, I'm talking about her past being the center of the Eliza's genius before it was named Eliza. 
After you told me you used to work for Skanda, I searched online and found some of your papers. Oh dear. They're... well, it's not like I can understand them, but they sure look super impressive to someone like me. Please don't say that. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop self-deprecating all the time. Look, I know this stuff seems like not a big deal to you. I get it. I really do. It's easy to undersell your own skills. I've done that my whole life. Hmm. So take it from me. You don't have to downplay yourself. Ray's voice just so calm, I swear. Take some credit for the amazing work you did. Seriously. Oh. Oh, why? Just why? A message for from Rainer. I guess I should respond. Sorry, Ray. Uh, mind if I reply to this for a second? Oh, go right ahead. I have stuff to set up in the kitchen anyway. What are you doing? How'd you get my number? <laughs> like, also immediately right at the bat, too. Well, I guess this one will be for the next episode. I'm actually probably gonna continue after this, but uh, I say it's best to just cut it from here for a bit. Cheers. Um. Crap, Rainer. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna not prepare for this.